I'm Lydia Marisha Dengdo, Principal of Lamjing Shai SSA RMSA High Secondary School, Khadar Mayor Milliam Um Lumpung. So I'm here to talk a little about the school uh, uh, and how the school has been growing yearly and how uh, we are working as a team to make sure all the students of this area get good facilities academically as well as in co-curricular. The students here uh, with the enrollment we began in, during the year 2019. The students here were only around 25 students, both in 9 and 10. Whereby we can see now in the coming years, since I've joined 2021, the, during that year and 2022 we had an enrollment of 52 students for 9 and 10. 2023 we have been upgraded to 11 and 12, whereby the enrollments of 2023 is 72 with the class to, uh, 11 and now this year we have an enrollment of 98 students of class 9, 10 as well as 12. So we will be also having the 11s joining us after the board results whereby we are expecting uh, more than 100 students enrollment in the coming year. So and teachers we have around six teachers in the secondary level and we have five teachers in the high secondary level. So um, as we can see, during the last two years, the students uh, academically also they've been performing really well, whereby the past percentage from last year to this year, last two years back, we have around 72%. This uh, coming two years back, again, we have around 69%. Last year, we had 70%. So we are hoping that past percentage of this year will increase more than that. And uh, the students uh, academically, they're doing well. And also in co-curriculars where students have participated in many sports events in the year 2022. They have won uh, the March Pass of both categories, boys and girls. The boys level football, they have also won the, win the first category. And also they have won the discipline, the best discipline school in overall those sports events they have uh, in the year 2022. We also see that uh, Students, they from this area, from the rural areas, they're now participating. They're competing with other schools in the state levels with uh, good reputed schools like Pine Mound, Edmonds, Anthony, St. Mary's. Even our students are being a part of science seminar. They're being a part of the different millet competitions where they've organized by the government. And also we can see that students uh, are, have become more confident as we make them participate in these events. They become more motivated that we're giving them the chance to represent the school in state level, that too in, among such reputed uh, schools from the urban areas. Uh, in the year 2023, we can see hype in the enrollment, whereby we also won uh, categories of uh, the competition that we call it TOFAI, that is the tobacco rally. Uh, we won all the three levels, that is the block, the district and the state level. It was a big uh, honor for all of us, the teachers, especially the teachers, because uh, the working of the school is not just one uh, handled, it's always a group, a teamwork. So without the teachers, I don't think all these co-curricular or academic would have functioned properly. So I definitely credit all my teachers, the pillars of the school. That is why we have been able to conquer this much in 2023. Uh, we have also uh, come up with, uh, again, in another sports meet, the student won the best discipline again, school-wise. And also in many other categories, like they've won many other medals. Uh, we have participated again in many uh, government activities like again the science seminar uh, where the students uh, were being consolidated with certificates. Also we have uh, participated in the Kala Utsaf again where the students could show, showcase their talents uh, in dancing, singing, music, instrument, art and craft where all, many of our students were selected to represent in the state level again which was organized in Sosotham last year. And uh, like we see, uh, last year we were upgraded with class 11-12. Uh, 
whereby uh, students now they're getting more opportunity not to be drop out just in 10 but to continue in the same school with us and uh, whereby we can see the fees is comparatively lesser than other schools in the 11 and 12. So we're happy last year we had an enrollment of 10 students for the beginning but again this year in 12 itself we had three more enrollments whereby we have 13 students now in class 12 and we're hoping we have good strength in class 11. Uh, we were also, uh, it is a great honor to also see that Lam Jing Shai SSARMSE High Secondary School is no longer just a school based for students and the local bodies or the rural areas, but now we have also been given the Pradhan Mantri scheme. Now the Lam Jing Shai is also known as uh, Prime Minister uh, Pradhan Mantri uh, uh, School, okay, where the student uh, focus not just in academic but in a holistic development of overall of the students, the school or the uh, uh, academics. And also with the coming of PM Shri, we are getting many opportunities like uh, the uh, government has been funding us with uh, good phases of uh, funds where now this year we, have get, we are getting an additional classroom. We are also getting a toilet for the CWSN, children with special needs. And also we are getting uh, water facilities with uh, uh, aqua guards for the students so that they stay healthy and hydrated. Uh, also, uh, the student this year, 2027, they have participated in Prayer Not Surf. Again, some of the students were selected to represent the state level and the, some have been also selected for further uh, events. All, uh, we, have, uh, we have had many inspections for that matter in the schools where because of certain inspection we are getting opportunities for all the students to bring out their best and the, fun, uh, the funding also becomes more relevant when such inspection takes place or visiting of the IS officers, the DSEO also. And like today, we are also having the uh, team from the DRT. And also, like we, as we know, we have also been introduced with the AI classes, where the students are taught about robotics, how they can function, how they move. And you know, with generations, everything is changing. So with time, we also we have to start upgrading ourselves. And we can see we this year we also got the Tinkering Lab whereby it will be very soon installed and students will get another opportunity to take up many things as a career, be it uh, career-oriented uh, trainings also we have in the school, we call it the vocational training. Right now we have got uh, the beauty and wellness, we have AI as well, the robotics here. So beauty and wellness as a career has been very helpful. We see that students are really uh, opting the subject because uh, with the past two years after the subject was introduced, we can see students after t 10 who cannot uh, further studies, 11, 12, they've taken out the small business of threading, hair cutting, whatever they've been taught in school. So we also request, we're asking for more sectors if they can give us and whereby students get more opportunities to stand in their own feet, especially those who are uh, uh, who do not have uh, their incomes are not stable financially, those who are not stable, they can help their parents at home through these vocational training which we are giving in the school. We, as, uh, uh, we have been always taught academically we need to know all the, uh, you know, uh, how to plan the classes, how teachers should plan classes and go accordingly and with that we have introduced, uh, like we have been getting these uh, uh, seminars about the uh, from the DRT about the learning outcomes as well as the progress of the lesson plan. So this year we have uh, last year also we have worked with the PLC. We have sat for meetings where, where we have discussed the PLC. We have discussed how we should work on the LOs. And uh, this year we are definitely uh, working on the LOs. We have progressed with the secondary level, but we are still preparing for the high secondary level in the LO category. The lesson plans, the unit plans are all updated and uh, with this uh, coming of the LOs we can see that teachers uh, are adjusting really well uh, of how to uh, divide time, how to divide the topics and how to finish the syllabus at a certain time period or time duration they are given. So definitely LO for that matter has helped to, uh, teachers to uh, run smoothly the classes, the syllabus so that they can uh, progress in finishing the course for the students be it 9, 10 or 12. 
So I think with this, I thank uh, the team of the RT who have come and shared a little view point from us with regards to what we have and what we are trying to bring in this rural area, in this rural locality for the upbringing and the future career of the students. Thank you.